So, I don't think this is normal. Everyone, welcome back to Pine Hollow Auto Diagnostics, the 2016 Hyundai Santa Fe was towed here. I actually drove it up the lane to get in the garage and it seemed to drive decent. A lot of blue smoke though. So, I just want to do one thing here. Let's clear out these trouble codes. No trouble code. Shut the vehicle off. I want to just start it and literally drive it up and down the lane. The blue smoke is intense, so, but I didn't feel misfires. <laughs> so let, let's just make sure it sets that P0018 code. Um, make sure we're on the right track. I already have some parts, timing chains, and tensioners, but we have to be 100% sure before we go into this engine. By the way, the owner said he just changed the oil before the car really started acting up and the level is full, it's clean, it does smell like gasoline a little bit. Under the cap, but let's just start it up and see how bad it is. Fires right up. It's almost out of gas, that sucks. No trouble code yet. I want to take a look at these fuel trims just in case. Okay, so we're still in open loop. Let's let's just drive it. I mean, it goes pretty well. Okay, look at that. Short and long term trim on bank two are pegged high. That bed's going to start running rich. Let's look at these O2 sensors. Bank two sensor one stuck lean. Being two sensor two is at point five. Definitely starting to misfire now. Look at that. Long term bank two, extremely high. Long term bank one is low. And it's an open loop. Very interesting. Let's look at the codes. Hmm, O2 sensor circuit range performance, bank two sensor one. Well, we didn't see that before. <laughs> very, very weird. Seems to be running okay though. All right, so I unplugged the upstream sensor. 
air fuel ratio sensor. I think it's just a regular oxygen sensor, but let's clear the codes out. Read live data. All right, so now our long terms are at zero, short terms are at zero. Oxygen sensors are looking pretty normal. Let's take it for a little spin. So bank two sensor one is gonna be stuck at the bias voltage since that's unplugged. Well, we'll see, I just wanna see how it runs. I mean, it, it's running fine. There is definitely some blue smoke though. Super smooth, but you can see the blue smoke. Let's uh, pull over and look at some data. So, I don't think this is normal. But that's not, not raw gas anymore. So our oxygen sensors are yeah, that one's at bias voltage. This one's a little low. These are both high. Okay. Read fault code. Bank two sensor one. Pending, pending, and then these ones did not clear, I guess. So let's go back to the Hyundai menu. and But we don't see any timing codes at all. How does that make any sense whatsoever? Why is it so much smoke? So in the Hyundai OEM menu, only two codes stored. Bank two sensor one, no activity. Bank two sensor one, uh, heater control. Makes perfect sense. Otherwise, no timing codes, the car runs smooth, but it's blowing blue smoke that this is insane even though it says clean air yeah yeah i don't i don't think so one day <laughs> uh, we should check the pcv system i guess maybe the owner forgot to hook something up when he was doing the top end work but the p0018 makes absolutely no sense to me it couldn't have fixed itself timing chains don't reset themselves so this is a very interesting case study it's idling Smoke seems to have cleared up. Again, very, very strange. Well, let's see if there's excessive vacuum in the crankcase. There isn't. Nope. Is it possible that the oxygen sensor was lying on bank two? It dumped so much gas in there, completely flooded the engine out, you know, the PCV system was flooded and the, the cats got gas in there and I mean it drives fine so they're not melted yet. But I don't know, we have to diagnose these oxygen sensors. That's, fuel trims are at baseline right now. You know, it's, it's an open loop and it runs pretty good. There's no timing codes. It just could be a bad lying oxygen sensor causing bank 2 to completely mess up. Crazy. Uh-oh, P0018, crap. <laughs> We're not out of the woods yet. Looking at our actual and desired phasers, you know, the VVT system, so exhaust cam bank 1 and bank 2. 
they follow each other and then intake bank one and bank two seem to be okay. Engine runs super smooth. So I'm not sure what, what's up with that P0018. And the guy said that he replaced the exhaust control, you know, oil solenoid, so perhaps he should also do the intake. But there's no timing problem with this engine. It could not fix itself. All right, so looking at oxygen sensors, we got four sensors. Bank one upstream, bank one downstream, and then bank two upstream, bank two downstream. You see the up, the bank one, I can force it rich, force it lean just by pumping the gas. But bank two, this one's unplugged, but the downstream sh never goes above 0.5. Like it's lazy or something. That is not normal oxygen sensor response at all. So it seems like it needs both bank two sensors upstream and downstream. What are the chances of that? Again, being flooded with gas might have cooked them. So if the upstream one went bad first, started lying, it dumped gas, cooked the downstream one. That's a possibility, but this is not normal oxygen sensor operation here. See, it revs fine, but no more blue smoke. Insanity. All right, let's do a quick circuit integrity check on these oxygen sensors. So bank two upstream connector is right here. Bank two downstream connector is right here. And on the wiring diagram, let's check the upstream one first. So the green is the high and the white is the low. Test light from battery positive. Test light lights up. And I'll focus you in on scan data. So this graph down here, bank two sensor one. If I touch the white wire with battery positive, you see it drops low. That checks wire integrity. If I touch the green wire, it goes high. So that sensor wiring is good. Let's do the same for the downstream. Touch one of them, it goes high. Touch the other one, it goes low. Perfect, we need two sensors, no question about it. And once we get those in, we'll take it for a good test drive, and if the 0018 code comes back, we'll look at the desired and actual, um, you know, camshaft data pids and it might need an intake control solenoid, which is right down here, which requires a lot of engine work, or at least the whole intake manifold to come off. But we'll, uh, we'll cross that bridge once, once we get there. I want to get this car running well first. All right, back on the Hyundai Santa Fe. So I spoke to the owner and told him, first and foremost, we have to replace these oxygen sensors for any further testing. Obviously the ones on bank two are cooked, are bad, did they go bad because the timing was off a little bit? Maybe, maybe not. But it was causing severe overfueling and kind of uh, throwing a wrench in our diagnostic process. We couldn't even run the car long enough to get good, um, you know, good data. So, Rock Auto came through. We have the OEM NTK sensors. Now I recommended just do all four because they're the same age. You don't want the same problem happening on, on bank one, you know, for, further down the road. So he's like, yep, absolutely. Let's get all four sensors replaced. So bank two, sensor one upstream did that one. Bank two, sensor two downstream already did that one. So upstream is down here. Downstream you get from the bottom. Now bank one upstream 
You do have to do the reach around move. Luckily, they're not too seized in there. And the OEM sensors, they are NTK, made in Japan. So these are the exact factory replacements. They have the factory clips, the same colors on the connectors. So I'm going to finish replacing the Bank 1 sensors. Then we'll fire it up, look at fuel trims. I'm really curious to see if there's a fuel trim discrepancy. Because if the timing is off on Bank 2, it'll breathe less. So the fuel trims I expect to be a little elevated on Bank 2 and a little on the negative side on Bank 1. So we'll see. See if that's true, and then we'll chase down this uh, P0018 timing problem. And online on Service Info, I actually found known good waveforms. Hyundai is one of the only manufacturers that gives you known good cam crank correlation. I didn't find that, uh, you know, in part one, but we'll uh, hook up the scope again and see if the timing is indeed off. All right, so after the oxygen sensor replacement. Let's clear out all the DTCs. No trouble code. Now we're going to fire it up and look at some data. All right, here we go. Start it up. See how fast these oxygen sensors warm up and what the fuel trims are. Alright, so our sensors have woken up. They're working great. The car is shaking a little bit. So short term on bank 2, 0.85. Is that... See, these uh, fuel trims aren't in the familiar... Aren't reported in the familiar fashion. Short term fuel trim bank 1 is 1.0, so I assume that's 0, but bank 2 is off. Let's go to OBD2 data and look at this in a more familiar way. Also need to get some gas. <clears throat> okay. Long-term oxygen sensors, short-term bank one, short-term bank two. Engine RPM, okay. Graph that. Here it's showing short term is zero. It's kind of strange. Look at that short term in bank two. It is minus twelve percent. The long term, you see bank two is going down, minus eight. <clears throat> so bank two, sensor one, it's another data pit. I think it's the same as short term bank two. So we don't need these two. Excellent. So now our oxygen sensors are working as they should. Long term bank two fuel trim minus 10%, short term is minus seven. So yeah, there is a timing issue on bank two. Exactly what 
I predicted if that bank can't breathe as well, it'll subtract, you know, subtract fuel from it. So we'll drive to the gas station, get some gas, and then we'll uh, get to this timing problem. Look at this, minus 22% to get the oxygen sensor, bank two sensor one to oscillate. And long term is starting to learn. So as long term gets lower in bank two, short term is gonna start climbing. This is because we're in a different cell now. The car's more warmed up, we're in drive. Yep, that's, that's pretty neat. You can see bank one is perfect, like 1% fuel trim. So that's when the short term was learning right there and the oxygen sensor was stuck rich. Now if we take fuel away, boom, we're back in control. So minus 17%. Pretty crazy. So you can see when we're cruising, long term is learning and it's minus 22% short term is stabilized. <laughs> Car's running smoothly, but you know that check engine light's gonna come on after the second key cycle. So it's a two trip code. So next step is gonna be looking at cam crank correlation and seeing how far off that intake cam is on bank two. Okay, in the Hyundai OEM menu, sure enough the P0018 is pending so now let's look at the data stream at the camshaft position to see what they're doing. So as I also suspected, we're in reduced power mode, meaning the VVT system is disabled. So you can see the desired is just zero in all four cams. And the actual is, you know, within point whatever, one of a degree. Okay, very cool. Now let's go back to shop, hook up the oscilloscope, take some cam crank correlation waveforms and see how far off this intake cam is on bank two. Will it be an actual number of teeth? And we'll have enough evidence to take that valve cover off and do a visual inspection on the cams.